go. I didn't take too long. You nailed that as well. Got my net. Oh, too off. Well. Really First fish. There we go. Jesus. He wanted to go. <laughs> anyway, we'll start today's video off. Um, today's video, we're going to be talking about or showing you how I go about fishing weedy rivers for pike. I had a few people uh, ask me about this, so, you know, might as well make a video that you guys want to see. But, yeah, there's a few options you've got for weedy rivers. I'll start with what I personally like to do. And, oh, there is a lot of weed in here. And then we'll, uh, we'll go over some other things that you might like to do instead. As I'm untangling this, you saw that first fish came on a jerk bait. Now, if I'm fishing somewhere weedy, where there's holes in the weed, the reed's not right onto the surface, but it's pretty high up, I like to fish above and around the weed. I don't, I don't feel like there's a need to punch into the weed for pike or go straight through the weed, you know what I mean? So I think above and around, if you can, if, if you're able to do that, is perfectly like, you're not going to get any less pike doing that. Typically where pike will sit is it'll be in the weed with its face sticking out waiting for something to swim past. If you're fishing around the weed beds or above the weed beds, you know, you're going to pass it past the pike's face anyway. And uh, yeah, should get a hit like I just did then. Like the weed comes pretty high up to the surface here. There's a bit of glare on the water, so you can't really see it, but I just have to take my word for it. It is uh, a pretty weedy spot. But you can fish above it, like look how shallow I fish. Just keep the lure in that top six inches of water. Typically, you're going to get around the weed. So we'll move to the next spot. I'll show you <coughs> another thing you can do for fishing weedy rivers. Now there is certain types of weed you can't fish through. Um, I'll, show, I'll show you some if I come across some. But if you're fishing typically, typically around where I live, you get a lot of grass, like this, lily pads, uh, like cabbagey weeds. Super easy to fish through them, if you need to. Um, a good way to do that is using a big offset hook for a big shad. Now this is the biggest size I've got. I think this is a 12 art, 22 centimeter shad. Hook that in the top there like so. Completely weedless. That's pretty, pretty loose that from uh, getting knocked about in my box. Well, you can just tuck it in like that. Weedless shed there. Bit of a smaller one. This is a uh, soft jerk bait. But again, weedless. Fish that quite high. And this is, um, this is five inch. So smallest one, but it's got a hollow body. That'll crush down, expose the hook. I think these are um, eight art or nine art hooks. I'll put it in the description when I have a look when I get home. And then that's a 12 art. So we'll put that one on first. This is... Um, Savage Gear EWG hook, 12 art. A little bit of an underspin on there as well. But if it is like really weedy, I'd probably take that off. So we'll nip that in there. Toss this around some grass. See if we can get something to take it. And again, if you've got a weedy river, it's probably going to be a shallow river as well. So you don't need to fish deep into the weeds. Like something like this is more like if the weeds come up to the surface and I can't fish above them then I'll fish this through like the top layers of the weed if you if you get me so yeah another option for a weedy river not something I do a huge amount because I find you do miss a lot of fish doing this with a weedless hook especially smaller jacks if you're just going for bigger fish then you hook them easy but the uh <laughs> 
chipper a pike less than sort of four or five pounds, you're gonna struggle to get a hook in the mouth with a big weedless like this. Maybe stick a downsizer on, five or six inch lure, you'll be all right. But if you, you are wanting to fish bigger lures, you're gonna have to try and fish above the weed. But yeah, nice action on that bait still with that weedless hook. And again, like, there's a big grass line through the middle here. Normally, I'd, if I were fishing a jerk or whatever, I'd hit the grass, I'd have to whip it in, but this just slow roll it through the grass. It'll nudge it, but come through without any grass on the other side, and that's your main benefit of using a weedless sort like this. And we've got re rigged. If you're fishing baits like this, they are going to tear up pretty damn easy if you're pike fishing. So yeah, make sure you bring a few with you. But, let's sink a bit. Twitch it back like. Essentially a soft jerk bait. Get some nice movement on it. Doesn't need to be fished fast. But it can be. Come and rip back if you need, add a little bit, a bit, a little bit of weight to it. Just twitch this round weeds. Again, you can fish it above the weeds or let it drop down into the weeds, this. Don't have to be a pink one. I just think pink's a nice colour for pike. A little bit of pink. Oh, I wish you could see that action on a long cast. It's super nice. Super nice. Switch here for you. But yeah, there you go. A little soft jerk bait. I'm gonna move to another spot and show you some more baits in a sec. See. And switch this one up a sec. Show you another weedless layer. There it is. Bit of a downsize. But uh, nicely, you can add, add a chub rig if you want to dig deeper, but keep it in top layers. This is, um, I forgot what this is. I'll write it, I'll write it on the screen. Another American bait for bass fishing. Nice hollow body on this. And just fish it like you would a normal swim bait. Slow roll it back, a few spin stops, speed it up, slow it down. When you get to some grass, just roll it through slow so you don't hook it. And uh, yeah, hope something crushes it. Nice fast action on that tail. A bit far from what I said, but I'll show you. See that? Twitch it like a drop. Super nice weedless layer this. Probably leave this on for a little while, see if we can get another bite before it gets too late in there. Yeah, sort of over here in Europe, you're talking nice little roach imitation, which is perfect for pike, especially on rivers like these, stuffed full of roach. Nice, nice bait to fish. It's a bit discoloured because I've had it in with a motor oil there, but. They are typically a bit more silver than that. Ooh, that were a pipe there, did you see that? Hit that bait fish. Yeah, got him. Yes! That was so cool. It's only small, but whacked a bait fish. Turned round, whacked my lure. Getting in quick, belly up. Ooh. That was a bad net job. There we go. That nine art weedless look in that top lip like. Here's the thing, it's tiny pike, but I'm gonna mention this in this video. A lot of people are going about big singles instead of trebles for pike, but 
Look at that damage. That one hook has ripped through. Ripped through the, the top of its top jaw, like. Wasn't a big fish, so. Imagine the weight of a bigger fish, but. There we go. Pike on that. But yeah, I just thought I'd point that out. You know, single hooks don't do less damage than trebles. You treble, you typically get your two points in. And uh, it's not going anywhere, whereas a single slip like that one has. But anyway, get this little geezer back. Oop, wrong way, dude. But, yeah, <laughs> I've showed you the, the uh, your hook up on your weedless alert hooks. I mean, that were only a tiny fish and we're still hooked up with a, a nine knot hook. So, yeah, chill. So, you've got fishing above the weeds and around the weeds with a jerk bait or whatever you would like to use, shallow lures, weedless hooks. Not got any top waters, but obviously, obvious choices of top water. Um, and yeah, spinner baits, which we'll show you in a bit, but I think now I've caught a fish, I want to try a fish with this a little bit more. <laughs> so, yeah, two fish this session on this video, it's not too bad. Switch it up. Oh, let's fish along with edge first. Just expect a lot of pike to be hanging with their head sticking out along it. Look for a little roach like this to swim past. Ooh, I just had a hit. I just had a hit. I missed it there. Oh, that might come back. Look. <laughs> Very subtle hit, but it still exposed that hook point. I think it just grabbed tail. I don't know if you saw them reeds move then on camera. Let's see if you can get that little guy to come back. Oh, lure and set it up properly again. Right then. This spinner bait, not 100% weedless, but if you're fishing grass, pads, cabbage, you're gonna be able to pass, pass the weeds, you know. The blades keep it weedless, you've only got single hooks on there. I suppose to have a longer tail, but the tail's been bitten off this. <laughs> but yeah, fishing places like this where it's mainly grass as you weed, you're all right, and like I say, heavy cover. I don't really bother with any layer, so. Yeah, spinner bait, it puts off a ton of vibration, so if they are sat in the grass without the head sticking out, they'll definitely hear a spinner bait coming. Turn around, hopefully, reaction strike, smash it. Puts off tons of vibration, pushes the weeds out of the way. Super easy to fish. Not quite as weedless as fishing with a weedless hook. But, yeah. Whereas a weedless hook will definitely bounce over most weeds. With heavy weeds like this. This is what I mentioned earlier. What you can't really fish any lures through this sort of weed. This green, horrible stuff. If you play wherever your fishing's full of that, yeah, probably try somewhere else to fit. So yeah, put a spinner bait on just to show you guys. A few options you've got, you know, spinner bait, you're weedless, fish above it with a jerk, fish above it even higher with a top water if you need to. And um, obviously you offset weedless hooks. Like this is probably your best option. If, if the weed's up to the surface. Like I've fished all down this stretch with this and not had like um, any weed on it at all hardly. Hooked up that small fish easy, had a little nibble on tail down here. Did, we didn't hook up, but you know, shows you guys that, you know, you'll still get them, even though you've got an exposed hook point. All right guys, made it to that bridge now. 
going to end the video here. It's, uh, yeah, hope you've learned some stuff. I'm not really feeding today, so it doesn't look like I'm going to catch another uh, pike on a bait like this. Switch to a reaction bait or something like that. I think I'd be um, catching a few, but yeah, on these natural baits that kind of need to use with these wheeler socks, I'd be, yeah, it's going to be a struggle to rock some pike out, but we landed two. Hopefully, you've learned a little bit about, you know, fishing around weed for pike. Like I say, I like to fish around it and above it if I can with a normal bait, but if I have to punch, definitely gonna be sticking something like this on. Nice hollow body, nice big weedless hook. I'll put a link to the hook and the bait in the description. So you know where to get it. Um, and yeah, that's about it. We've got normal baits around and above, top water lures, if it's not too cold. Weedless, big shads, little shads, whichever, spinner baits. So yeah, they're pretty much your four options. I mean, if the weed's not too bad, you can probably get away with using a, uh, a single hook on top of a shad or something like that but if you're doing that you're typically going to be fishing with a jig head and it'll be punching deeper than you need it to really so yeah that'll do it for this video hope you've enjoyed it hope you've learned something make sure you subscribe make sure you check out, check out the web store for uh, you know bits and bats apparel terminal tackle and stuff hopefully get some loads on there soon link in the description to that too and yeah catch you guys in the next video peace